So I am vlogging currently, checking if this camera angle is going to work, uh, looking into the camera right now. Right, so welcome to this new series that I'm gonna do. I need to title it, I'm not sure exactly what title it should have, so I'm thinking Joel's Creative Pursuits, or Joel's Cre- Why don't you guys decide in the comments section what this series should be called, and retrospectively I will name it just that. The concept of it all is that I want to do something creative every single day, um, probably mostly musical. From time to time I might throw in a different, you know, maybe a little bit of maths. <laughs> who's, who's judging really? Today I thought I'd start by creating a list of ideas. Disclaimer, I have broken my wrist. What's the story behind it, you ask? I fell over and broke it, which is ridiculous. So wrist is broken and it was quite agonising to write out this list, but let's have a look at it. Joel, your handwriting's so rubbish. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, who cares? Creative ideas. Number one, start new original Jack and Joel song. Two, continue production on Jack and Joel singles. Well, spoiler alert, guys, there are some Jack and Joel singles that are going to be released soon with even more exciting music videos to complement it. And you will shortly see some promotion for it. So be excited for that. Number three, create a drop, but like a cool one, not a shitty one. Number four, learn a song on piano. Number five, learn a song on guitar. Number six, do a pop slash chart song cover. Number three, create a drop. So I thought I would talk you through the equipment that I'm going to be using today in, in today's challenge or creative pursuit or whatever we're going to call it. So let's have a look. I will be using my MacBook Pro with um, a digital audio workstation called Logic Pro X. I'm going to be using my 49 key MIDI controller uh, from M Audio, Oxygen 49. This is going to be enough for me today, so let's get working. When working on a new track, it's always difficult to know exactly where to start and which specific piece of the composition you want to work on first. And it does vary from piece to piece. Sometimes you can start with a drum track and that can inspire you, uh, the rhythms involved in that. Today, however, I want to take inspiration off a producer slash artist called Muramasa, who does absolutely fantastic work. Definitely check out his music if you're not familiar with his work already. So Muramasa has a really specific style and I particularly love the simplicity in his music. So today I'm going to start by working on a synth sound and some sort of motif from a synth sound, maybe styled in the way that Muramasa might approach it and see if I can build a drop slash a track from there. So I have indeed found a sound that I'm really happy with. It's sort of this hand drum type sample that I found on Omnisphere. I've come up with a riff idea which goes a little bit like this. So I've managed to get a structure together finally. We've got this kind of intro build up, drop bridge, drop type idea going on. It's fairly simple and actually if I have a look, the track is one minute in length in total. So I've just picked up on a vocal line that I really, really want to get in there now to make it that proper, proper drop section. A little vocal warm up. I've come up with a melody for a little lick for the vocals on top of the drop section, which I'm super excited about. The words are a little bit cringe, probably. It's just the first thing that kind of came to my mind that kind of fit with that melody. So you decide if you think it's cringe or not. To be honest, I tend to find more than ever that people are really put off doing lyrics because they think that everything they write is going to be super, super cringe and nobody's going to relate to it. I mean, these lyrics aren't relatable, that's for sure. But the important thing to know is that lyrics are less important than people think they are. If you actually just get going and write down some lyrics, then you'll be surprised with the results because actually the music behind everything kind of carries how those lyrics are projected anyway. So if something you think is cringe is put behind a super cool beat that you know the general public would love, they won't actually care what those lyrics are saying. So bear that in mind, um, especially bear that in mind when you're listening to this piece. This is probably gonna be quite a weird camera angle for me to sing into, but I don't have a choice. I've got a tripod thing arriving tomorrow. So the next creative challenge will be a lot more impressive uh, film-wise, let's just say. Take my number, babe. Tay man I'm a babe, Tay man I'm a babe, yeah, 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 yeah. Tay man I'm a babe, Tay man I'm a babe, Tay man I'm a babe, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, I'm pretty happy where everything is. I've just got to sort out this bridge section. The concept that I have is this kind of walking up baseline that kind of spirals in and out of phase of whether you, where you expect the beat to be. So I want some hand claps kind of running through this section and building up and building up until it gets to this final drop. So I've got to record some hand claps. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm having quite a lot of difficulty with the bridge section still. I've been working on it for quite a bit of time now and I'm not really getting anywhere with it. It doesn't really fit in with the track as such and I've done the clapping thing and the claps are just, I mean, I'll play the claps right now. As you can hear, they don't sound very great. They're not perfectly in time. I kind of wanted that vibe, but it's just not working for this. It's good to sometimes be able to let go of work or ideas that you've had uh, to make way for new and better ones. Well, I think I've realized what this track needs. It needs a good come on. <laughs> come on! I've decided to keep the bridge as it is. I've done a couple of things that will hopefully beef it up and kind of distract a little bit from the clapping that's maybe not perfect. I also noticed that part of the problem with the clapping was just the room that I've recorded in. There's a lot of bouncing off the walls and reverbs that I don't really want, so I haven't got a very clean sound from it. I think now it's ready to bounce down and start mixing each channel individually, get the drums as tight as possible, butter the whole mix together, and I will be showing it you very shortly. Right, the mix is finished, so let's bounce this down. Okay, so the track is finally finished. I'm pretty pleased with it, but this is the first creative challenge that I've done and I think there's a lot of room for improvement. I actually started playing the song on a different set of speakers. I've been mixing my headphones the whole day and it sounded completely different. So I'm not sure what it would sound like to you guys, but hopefully you enjoy it. My friend's coming over, so enjoy the track whilst we have a cup of tea. that was the track. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Was the video too technical? Was it not technical enough? What should the title of this series be? And if you have any ideas for future videos, I'd also love to hear them. So subscribe to this channel if you've enjoyed this video today and you're excited about what's to come. See you then.